Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of May, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up for Aries. What do we have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for May? This could happen at any time in May, okay? What do we have for Aries for May? One card, please, and there it is. Ooh. This is infatuation and obsession. Somebody is infatuated and obsessed. Could be with money because this is my second one that I have done and it really was focused on money, materialism. Somebody has made some poor financial decisions. Uh, they've been wasting money and... Uh, there's been some unfaithfulness here. We have somebody that had the King of Pentacles reversed. So this is somebody who was really focused on uh, money and they've made poor decisions and they now they're probably paying for it. Um, this is somebody who lacks experience that wants to have the position of authority but doesn't really want to put in the effort or does things without thinking. It doesn't plan effectively. Um... I feel like there's a there's a there's a lack or a loss of uh, money because of poor decisions. There's also unfaithfulness. We have somebody in your reading that has been unfaithful, and they don't want to take accountability for their unfaithfulness. Um, so anyhow, so what do we have for Aries? One card, please. Two of Wands. Now, this is a spur of the moment decision, a choice, being at the crossroads, uh, needing to make a choice. Do you want to go backwards or do you want to go forward? So, you're going to be presented with a choice this month. Um, I would say that um, you need to listen to your gut, you need to listen to your intuition. I feel like there's a lack of awareness here, maybe even some being gullible or naive and not listening. What I had on the bottom there was the high priestess reversed on this deck that I just used um, on this deck. Uh, so that's lack of awareness. I feel like you, maybe you've not been listening to your intuition, not listening to your gut, and you need to do that. Um, but there is a spur of the moment decision that is going to need to be made this month. I think that you uh, have been thinking about going in another direction, but you have been reluctant to do so, and I think it has to do with money that has kept you uh, stuck, per se. There could be an inf infatuation with, you know, things, materialism, uh, something like that. Support. People come into your life for many different reasons. Some you learn from and then you move on, while others return often because you need to learn from those individuals. Others remain beside you throughout your entire life. So I think in, in the previous reading that I just did for you, um, we had something to do with children here. Your children, your immediate family, those are the people that you can count on. Okay, I think that you are dealing with a partner, twos are partners, or dealing with a partner that may have come into your life for a season. You may be infatuated this per with this person. They may be infatuated with you. They, there's something to do with money here or finances or things or materialism that is connected to this partner. Perhaps, you know, um, you need to make a decision as to what is more important to you. Uh, is it those things or is it your family? Is it your children? What is it? What's, what's the choice that you have to make? Um, people come into your life for many different reasons. Some you learn from and then you move on. And I think that's a big message for you. I feel like there's a, there's a, there's a, uh, two paths. There's two options here. Uh, you can choose to stay where you're at and live the life that you always lived, or you can choose to move into something more, uh, unknown. It's a little bit scary, but there's an opportunity for growth. It's a new adventure. So I think that you have to make a choice this month, and I think it's a life-changing decision. And I say that because in my other reading, I had judgment, and it was upright. So you're going to have to make a judgment call. Um, you are. 
I feel like you have some some sort of support around you, but I also feel like you've been ignoring it. I think that you have been refusing to listen to any advice. I think that there's stubbornness here. There's some sort of infatuation that is getting in the way of you making a practical decision. And I think that there's and I think that there's some sort of um, financial consequences for making poor decisions. Because the King of Pentacles reversed is, is financial, poor financial decisions and judgment is consequences. So I'm wondering if you're going to be paying some sort of financial price or karma. You know, karma could be hitting you in your bank account because of poor decisions that you have made. Um, it's not about things and I'm not saying that every one of you is like that. But it appears in my previous reading that it was we have a very materialistic individual here that is more focused on things and money and work than they are happiness, you know, and than they are love or their family or whatever it is. Um, I feel like there's an infatuation and obsession with uh, materialistic things. Three of Swords reversed. And this could always be for somebody that you're dealing with. Uh, Ten of Wands reversed. Hermit reversed. This is a midlife crisis. I don't want to be alone. Um, letting go of a burden. A need to let go of something. You probably do need to let go of something that has been weighing you down. A conscious change is needed. I feel like there's been some sort of heartache, suffering, pain. It's time to move on. I feel like there's a healing energy here. I feel like there's been a lack of healing. There's been a lack of enlightenment. I feel like um, you have been weighed down by something that has been hurting you. I feel like maybe you've been infatuated or obsessed with it. Not very awakened here. We have somebody here that's not very awakened. They need to go within. They need to come up with another plan. Uh reevaluate what they've been holding on to. This is taking on too much. There could be there could be a collapse here. We we could have somebody here that is ignoring their heart or they're ignoring their health and they need to focus on their health. Um, there's something that needs to be let go. Maybe you're taking on too much because you want those things. I feel like there's a need to take a break. There's a need to slow down. And I feel like you're not slowing down. I think that you need to slow down. Anyhow, um, Three of Swords reversed is it's a healing energy. It's a need to heal. Um, healing or recovery is happening on the path to recovery. It's also time to leave something behind with the Three of Swords reverse, something that you have been infatuated and obsessed with. You need to choose to go in another direction and let something go. This is letting go of something you've been holding on to that is holding you down, that is weighing you down. This is I don't want to be alone. We got somebody here that doesn't want to be alone. And I feel like they're holding on to somebody because they don't want to be alone. And I and I feel like there's there it, you, you need to uh, wake up. This is wake up. Let go. Let go of some responsibilities or let go of whatever it is that is weighing you down. Maybe it's things, you know, because I feel like there's some things here that need to be let go of. Now, the Ten of Wands reversed is making a conscious change. It is freeing yourself from something that has been hurting you. You have to choose that, though, because the Two of Wands is a choice. Oh, and the Seven of Cups on the bottom. That is a choice. This is confusion. I think that you've been trying to do too much. Because, and you notice all the options, all the things. I think that you, you, uh, need to be careful. You need to be aware of false beginnings. You need, and this is a card of consequences as well. Be careful what you own. What you own owns you. And I feel like you are going to really have to be mindful of your choices this month. 
Otherwise, you are going to be weighed down by some sort of burden that costs you, okay? This is a, this is a midlife crisis of some sort. It's like uh, not seeing things clearly. And this is confusion as well. I feel like you have been in the dark over a situation. I feel like you are also dealing with somebody that is money hungry. And you may be naive to it. You may be gullible to it. moving oh, positive change good luck moving towards something more fortunate you do have a positive change here absolutely with the chariot and the wheel of fortune that is uh, success victory taking charge getting in the driver's seat dealing with opposition I feel like you're going to be leaving something that has been hurting you behind. That three of swords is heartache, it's heart pain, it's grieving, it's suffering. You're leaving something behind that has been hurting you. You're moving in a new direction. You're taking charge. You're taking the lead. You're in a lead. You're, it feels like you're going to be taking charge of your life. Taking charge of a situation. Moving in a new direction. The wheel of life is spinning you towards something more positive. You may, it's like you're coming out of darkness. You're coming out of a period of darkness. Tens are the end of a cycle. So we have a cycle that is ending with somebody or something that you have been holding on to that has been weighing you down. There could be a collapse here with the Ten of Wands reversed. Something could collapse. I feel like you are going to be making a decision. I feel like this decision is a life-changing decision. I feel like you're going in a new direction. You're leaving something behind that has been hurting you. It has been some sort of infatuation or obsession of yours. And it has been and I think it was something to do with materialism. I do. I do feel like you are going to be reconnecting with somebody as well because of that hermit reverse can be a reconnection with somebody that you are destined to be with. There's destiny here. This is a destined change of course. I feel like I feel like there is some sort of um, positive change that is coming. It's almost like traveling to a new destination. This is traveling to a new destination. It is traveling destination. Um, a destined change, of course. Being at the right place at the right time. You may be you may be meeting up with somebody that. Uh, it feels like you've known this person before, and I don't even know where the cards... Well, he had the judgment in the last one, so that may be where it's coming from. Um, there's some sort of uh, victory that is coming for you, but it comes after you make a choice, after you make a decision. This is this is freedom. You have to make a decision to let something go. And that's going to require willpower and discipline. Okay? This is determined. Determination. Self-discipline. Self-control. Hard work. Taking a journey. Some of you are taking a journey to a new destination. You may be traveling or moving. Some of you could actually be moving someplace. This is a karmic cycle that is coming to an end and a new one is beginning. You are about to see something that you haven't seen before. You've been in the dark, but this is like seeing the light. I feel like you're going to be seeing the light. The Wheel of Fortune is a destined change, of course. It's a very positive change. Finding your discipline to leave something behind that has been hurting you. You are breaking free from something. You are. You are breaking free from something that has been holding you down. It's like you're dropping that baggage. You're dropping that weight. 
This is the end of, of, of something that has been hurting you. This is victory. I think that you taking charge is going to bring you something very, very fortunate. This is a, this is a, this is a reward. A positive change is coming and it's because you take the lead. You decide. It's like you decide to let something go that is holding you down. Hangman reversed. Magician, so yes, action is being taken, taking back your power, being in control, being aware, very, very focused, creating something. You are creating something. You have be, you're going to become enlightened and awakened. I think there's been a lack of awakening, and you're going through, you're getting some sort of awakening. It's interesting because judgment is a wake up call as well. If there's some sort of awakening that you are going through, I think that you have been sacrificing yourself, wasting your time. Maybe trying to prove that something was going to work that isn't meant to be. But I feel like you are got some new perspective now. I feel like you're going to be in a position of power. You're going to be taking control and creating a new life for yourself. I mean, what more can I say? You get that magician that is a action, okay? That is action being taken, a golden opportunity. It is determination. I see strong determination here determination to succeed and I think that you will be successful I feel like you will be successful after you let something go though because that ten of wands reversed is letting something go that has been causing you pain and I don't know if it's heart pain or grief or whatever but something that has been causing you a lot of grief needs to be let go of because this is grief and this is letting go and I feel like, and I think that's your choice because the choice is right here. You have to choose to let go of whatever this is that you have been obsessed with. You've been trying to make something work. I got to prove that I'm going to make this work. Well, if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. So I do believe that you have a positive change that is coming as soon as you decide to let whatever this is go that has been weighing you down. And I feel, I feel like you are good. It's almost like you're realizing your true identity. It's time to listen to yourself and nobody else. And it feels like you've been under some sort of infatuation over letting go. It's like really, really struggling to let go with the hangman reverse. That's a serious struggle. That's refusing. That's refusing to let go. Obsessed with control. It's, it's fighting your inner self. I will not change. I will not admit that I made the wrong decision. But this is like, I'm going to. This is, I'm going to take action to bring success. So I see you taking back control. This reading is very much similar like the, than the, to the last one. This is you taking your power back. Taking back control of your life. I also feel like you're going to be in charge this month. You are going to be in the hot seat. You're going to be in the position of power. You're, you're taking back control from somebody that has uh, hurt you. And I feel like you've allowed this person to hurt you. It's almost like you've been in denial as well. Some of you are actually moving. You may be moving to a new destination, traveling to a new destination. It's like you've learned some sort of lesson. Uh, maybe this is a major life lesson. Um, I see you uh, creating something, inventing something, or receiving some sort of reward for all your hard work that it takes to let whatever this is go that you're letting go. Uh, you will have emotional support. I do see you um, dealing with opposition, whereas I think that you you may maybe you were fearful in the past to deal with opposition, or you were worried about what everybody was gonna say. I feel like you're at a point now where you know it's you don't want to you don't want to waste any more time. I feel like you've become enlightened. You know, you've become awake, awakened in some way. I don't want to waste any more time. I want to sacrifice myself anymore.
I also feel like there's a shift. Well, I think I might have said it in other words. There's a shift of power. I feel like the power you are, you're the power you are taking back control. The power is being given. You're taking it. It's almost like you're taking back control. You're taking charge. You're in control. You're you're finding your discipline and your willpower to end a cycle with somebody that has held you down. And that's what what I see. This person has been a weight. Okay, they've been a weight. They've been a heavy, they've been weighing you down. Somebody has been weighing you down. And I feel like you're just like, you know what, see ya. See ya. I'm free. Free. I see freedom here. Freedom from some sort of heavy weight. One more card. Six of Wands, victory. We have victory. Victory, victory, victory. I'm telling you what, this is victory after sorrow. This is yes answer. This is this is a win. This is I'm not sure if you're dealing with somebody that is famous as well. Because we have some sort of fame here. I'm wondering, and there's public recognition. I feel like you are headed in the right direction. You are taking steps in a new direction. You are headed towards balance and harmony. You're headed towards success. You're taking control of your life. And you are creating success. You are creating something that is going to be successful as soon as you let something go that is weighing you down. I feel like there's some sort of destined change of course here. I feel like you have been stuck. You have been stuck in a painful situation that you may have been infatuated with or obsessed with. But this is definitely a change of course. It's the end of a season or a cycle with somebody. I see you moving. Some of you are moving. You are literally packing up and moving I see a newfound confidence, a newfound drive and desire. This is the end of a battle as well. It's the end of a war. It's the end of a of some sort of competition. This is you getting what you asked for. It's like you asked for this success. You asked for this reward. reward. You asked for this support. They've brought it to you, but you've been ignoring it because of somebody else that is holding you down. You have to find your strength and your willpower and your courage and your confidence to take action and go after the, the success that you want. And if it requires you letting go of this dead weight, then you need to let go of it. So good luck.